All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this right here is what you will be learning how to do today, which is simple GIF images and animations, banners, whatever you want to call them for your site, your blogs, whatever you need them for, um, all that good stuff. So, and this is a Photoshop CS 5.1 extended tutorial. So, if y'all want tutorials on other uh, softwares leave a comment and I'll make a tutorial for you know GIMP whatever y'all need now let's get started here first obviously you want to make a new file I always do mine a thousand by two hundred most of my websites are a thousand in width and I always want them to fit my websites of course you can make yours whatever size you want and depending on what you want to do with it I always have my backgrounds transparent um, that's just so the image always matches whatever background it's up against <clears throat> all right we always start with the first layer obviously rocket science and when you don't have to do borders I like doing borders you know kinda like coloring keeping it between the lines <laughs> I always pick a gray image for I don't know why it's just easier for me to work with then I'll take my little rectangle tool here and I will pretty much some people like to fill their images. I like using this tool because it's easier for me to work with. Pretty much cover it with a rectangle tool there, which is this icon right there. Then I will move up to my marquee tool and I'll stay just inside here and drag it down to the other side here and release. Pretty much what we're doing is making a border then you go to your background eraser tool and it'll throw up a little error just click OK click one spot inside hit your delete button inside's gone go to select and deselect and then you can pretty much put whatever you want to in here mm. There you go. Pretty much something. You put whatever you want in there. Say this is just a tutorial. I'm not making nothing fancy here. We're just trying to get this done quickly so I don't run out of time. Alright, that's not centered, but like I said, it's tutorial. I'm going to go back to my text tool, highlight it. Um, let's see, I like using red and blues just for tutorial purposes, they show up better on video for some reason alright once you got this basic part done go up to window go to animations I'll bring up this box here yours probably will look like the timeline there's a button down here that goes between timeline view and frame animation click it and put it on frame and this is where all your magic will happen alright uh, let's go back down here to shape we'll click on our color selector here you know what, we'll just pick the red there and I'll show you why in a minute go to the bucket tool and we'll fill the border in red then I will rename this shape red and I will show you why we're doing this here in a minute Alright, now go up, select your text layer, right click, and duplicate that layer. And just for purposes here, we will name this blue. Whoop, can't spell either. Select OK. Now with that layer selected, go to your text tool. I'm going to highlight this. Go up, make it blue. OK. Now you're done with that part. Now, go back to your shape. I'm going to duplicate that layer. And we will name this one Shape Blue. I'm going to say OK. Make sure that's highlighted. Come over here, select your blue. Take your fill bucket, and we will change the border blue 
and we've got a red border, a blue border, red text and blue text. Now what we're going to do here, shut that one down, shut that one down. Actually, I'll leave that one on. I'll do it like this first. All right. You got a little icon down here, which is right here. It's made for duplicating the layer. Basically, you just duplicated that layer. Now, with that layer selected, you want to go up. You want to put that one back on, turn that one off, that one off, and that one on. Now, it's pretty much changed. And before I start making copies of this, click that one, hit your shift button, click the first one. There's a little icon that says 10 seconds on it. You change it, you can drop it to point two, or you can do custom. You click other, you can put in whatever time frame you want to do it in. I'll do mine at point two. With both those highlighted, click your duplicate button. Click that as many times as you want, even though you don't need it, but a couple of times for web because it, you can set it to do repeat. Now what you're going to have if you hit play, see, sexy, huh? All right. Now with that being done, now you got your custom GIF banner done. GIF. I'm going to go up to File, go down to Save for Web and Devices. Once you click on that, yours will probably be set to JPEG. Make sure you set it to GIF. GIF. Some people call it differently. I don't know. It's a .gif file, whatever. And then you come down here where it says looping options. If you just want it to play once, it'll play all your frames one time. You set it to forever, it'll pretty much play them forever, which is what we do on websites, obviously. You can always hit your preview button down here and it'll open up a preview. And that's what it'll look like on the website. Of course it's not centered on this one but that's all done through your coding so pretty much go down hit your save button give it the name and you want to save yours may be set to HTML only or images only make sure it's set to HTML and images and then name it whatever you want to put it wherever you want to uh, just name this one test and tell it to save Alright, now that you've got that saved out, and on, this is what you should get on your desktop. You have an HTML file named whatever you named it, and then you'll have a folder named Images, which has your image in it that you just created in Photoshop. Basically what you do is you take the image inside that folder, you upload it to your Images folder on your website, take this file here that you just had, your HTML file, upload it to the root directory of your website and of course you place the image wherever you want it on your website and as long as all this stuff's together you will have it working on your website be sure to rate comment subscribe if you want any other tutorials done let me know I'll do them if you want them for GIMP or any other program let me know and we'll get them done peace